Infections associated with the biofilm, a major public health issue. Inside the body, the bacteria preferentially attach to a surface, and particularly on a medical equipment like a prosthesis, where they can easily develop the biofilm. In an isolated form within an organism, bacteria are vulnerable to antibiotics and to immune cells. A biofilm is a community of microorganisms adhering to a surface that produces a matrix, a kind of gel, adhesive and protective. It is presently known that 80% of bacteria live as biofilms, which is, in fact, their natural way of life. The microorganism community in the biofilm will grow into an extremely well-organized and finely regulated network. This biofilm will create a mechanical protection of bacteria, a kind of shield, and protect them against immune cells and treatments. Inside the biofilm, the bacteria can transfer among themselves biological material, for example, antibiotic resistance genes. Bacteria can also slow down their metabolism and go into dormancy, also limiting the action of treatments. Thus, the biofilm constitutes a reservoir of bacteria that will be redropped periodically or continuously within the body. Those may settle somewhere else in the body and potentially create other sources of infection. This mode of organization is engaged in a very large number of so-called chronic infectious diseases. Biofilm is involved in 80% of chronic infections and 60% of infections acquired in a health facility. Some infections are usually associated with the biofilm. For example, in the context of endocarditis, pneumopathies, and skin wounds. And these types of infections contribute significantly to nosocomial infections. The development of new technological strategies to prevent or control biofilm is now essential.